Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 4 of the Manchester United career mode. And today, uh, whilst I was quickly to give it to West Brom match to start the episode, I got a certain little uh, international offer from England themselves. Uh, I'm going to accept this, so title of the uh, episode 4, we have now signed for England. So, I'll come back to you when I decide to the England team. So, this is the England team I've currently come up with. Um, up front we've got Harry Kane. In the cam position we have got Phil Foden. On the right, on the left wing we have got Marcus Rashford. On the right we've got Jadon Sancho. Uh, in the CDMs we've got Declan Rice and uh, Jordan Henson. Left back we've got Luke Shaw. In the centre back positions we've got Joe Gomez and Harry Maguire. Let's move him over one. And then right back we've got Trent Alexander-Arnold. And then in goal we've got Dean Henderson. Then our bench we've got Dominic Calvert-Lewin, Raheem Sterling, James Madison, Mason Mount, Nick Pope, Ro uh, Michael Keane and John Stones. But our reserves we've got Aaron Wan-Bissaka, uh, Danny Ings, Jamie Vardy, uh, Barry Saka, and Jordan Pickford. So I think this is a good team. Um, I can't probably really pick any new players yet. And we'll have a look on the calendar of what we've got for the month of September. Sorry, the month of October. Um, our first international game is against Russia on the 10th. Then we've got Bulgaria. Uh, then we've got Greece, Hungary. Any other else? Another World Cup is this year. We've got Northern Ireland, Bulgaria. And then we've got the World Cup, which we'll do. Uh, in about <laughs> 10 to 50 episodes time but don't mind that we've got Premier League to look out for which I might run a bit of a second team for because some of my players are still tired so Alex Tellers can come off for Luke Shaw who will be transferred into a centre back soon Aran and Bisaka we really need a right back don't we So we'll sort out the right back soon. But I think that should do it for now. We'll see who's actually fit on the day against West Brom. And yeah. Let's hope something good comes out of this. Uh, obviously we beat PSG 3-0 last episode. But we drew against Leeds 2-2. Right, Fred on loan to Liverpool. Nice. So um, I was, in all the other career modes I've done, not on uh, YouTube obviously, I've been really wanting the uh, England manager set up, like just have be the England manager to represent the country, and I have never got it until now. So, alright, let's actually see who's match fit for the game. Aaron Wan-Bissaka is not, so... I'm going to have to play Brandon Williams. Actually, who could play right back? You can play right back, right? Yep, he'll be going to Liverpool in January for two seasons. Mason Greenwood could stay off. Uh, Donny van der Beek will have to come off from Ryan Gravenberch. Stamina. Uh, who else can we swap in? De Gea's good. Werner. Fernandez. Herbert Lozano. Rashford, obviously, decent. Mason Greenwood's being converted into a striker currently, so we'll play him a bit more at striker in coming games but I think we should get into the match against West Brom Welcome to the Hawthorns Will you please welcome Manchester United and West Bromwich Albion!
great game. So here we go, West Bromwich Albion, will they be the next victims of the Manchester United slaughterhouse? Let's find out as it kicks off away. Maitland, Maitland Niles from Arsenal is at West Bromwich, Bruno Fernandes with a nice tackle. Obviously remember we have switched from professional to world class here for this career mode now as we saw at the start of the season. We were just scoring too many goals past our opponents, and oh, what's happened here? Uh, looks like a free kick was given. John O'Shea, obviously former Manchester United player himself. If that is John O'Shea, oh Ryan Livermore tried to get in. Stodd grasp goes for it, but Shaw deflects it out for a cut. Yep, corner. We just need to get it out. Beautiful save by De Gea. Let's rush it forwards. Oh, Bruno Fernandez gets it to Rashford, but Bednarek tackles it there. Luke Shaw keeping his eyes on Robert Snodgrass. Seems like he's one of the key players for this team. Oh, Bruno Fernandez gets the ball there. Sees Herbie Lozano going for the run there. Manca Manchel. Gets the ball, but Lozano intercepts. Gets team on Werner. Oh, Ryan Graven better go for a run, but Werner was trying to pick out Rashford for maybe a cross, I presume. Well, Diagne on the side. Ruben Diash gets defeated, but Luke Shaw covering his inside. Then Lozano to Bruno Fernandez to team on Werner. Werner gets it over to Rashford. Rashford's on his own. Rashford! Miss. John, Sam Johnston saves it. De Gea gets the ball off. Milan's gonna. Graven Birch now to Bruno Fernandez. Looks like the young Dutchman's getting a bit arrogant here. Werner tried to get to Rashford, but no luck there. Oh, Robert Stodgrass on the ball here. Oh, hits it out, Luke Shaw. Corner kick. No, goal kick. Okay. Luke Shaw gets it to Rashford. Obviously, Luke Shaw had a really good season this season in real life. Oh, Bruno Fernandes. Oh, nothing comes of it. Oh, Waldo gets it past. Bruno Fernandez retrieves the ball in air, but Bednarek was behind him. Oh, Brandon Williams knocks it out. Beautiful sunset here. On a Saturday evening. Oh, Timo Werner, can he get the ball past? Werner! Just knocks it out of the park with... Too much power. Well, Timo Werner is top scorer in the league by two goals. He has missed a lot of opportunities which could have got him even higher. Oh, Robert Stodgrass who gets it first. Luke Shaw hits it away. Rashford trying to get past Furlong here. And he does. Rashford is away here. He has two men marking him though. The other man went to Timo Werner. Rashford only has Luke Shaw to help him here. Shaw to Graven Birch. Graven Birch to Bruno Fernandez, But nothing comes of it. He gets knocked out by the West Bromwich defender to Furlong. And it's out for a throw in. Rashford gets it to Bruno Fernandez. Fernandez to Rashford. Can Rashford find a way past Furlong? He does. Back to Bruno Fernandez, but Furlong intercepts. Oh, Graven Birch tried to intercept there, but nothing came of it. Oh, Luke Shaw to Marcus Rashford. 
That's Grave of Birch. Grave of Birch gets it to Bruno Fernandez. Werner, can he turn his man? He can, but couldn't turn the West Bromwich Albion defender there. Let's take the ball now. They send it over. Diagne, can he get it through? Waldo has it. Beautiful interception by Milan Skrinar. There we go. Oh, Timo Werner knocks it up to Rashford. Rashford plays on the inside to Ryan Graven Birch. What could Graven Birch do here? Tries to get to Werner, but John O'Shea just getting the, the ball out there. As Ruben Diash trying to run after the ball, for, but just a throw in. Luke Shaw gets Marcus Rashford. These two have been performing really well with each other so far. The left side has been really dominant here for United right now. Bruno Fernandes gets it to Werner. Werner's all alone though. Does he have any support? Yes he does. Lozano gets it to T. Elements. T. Elements to Werner! Werner skies it again. Opportunities are coming but nothing's happening with it. He's going to hit a young woman in the face with a football. Instead of hitting it top corner. Oh, sent over. Nearly half time here. Ryan Graven Birch on the floor. That one minute added time. It looks like this could be the final attack of the first half. Will it go past though? Yukusulu. I have no idea. Fuck, you said that name. Oh, Maitland Niles. He's in. But Brandon Williams gets it out. Herbert Lozano gets out for half time. That was a okay first half for United, but Timo Werner squandered all the chances so far. Timo Werner really needs to up his sharpness here. Alright, some changes are to be made here. Bring on Aaron Wambasaka and Mason Greenwood. The rest will stay as it is. Graven Birch, Rashford and Luke Shaw have been working really well together so far. Let's see if we continue that as the second half is underway. Shaw to Graven Birch. Can Shaw get it over to the other side? As he does to Aaron Wambasaka, but it's out for a throw in to West Brom. Oh, Greenwood gets Maitland Niles on the floor there. Is that a yellow card or a red? Or is it any card at all? No, nope, just a warning by the referee. With that fresh ass haircut. No one can really red card or yellow card Mason Greenwood. He's just a child. Oh, here we go. Furlong in the box. Ruben Diaz intercepts. Gets it to Bissaka. Who can get it to Greenwood? Can Greenwood go with it? No. Nope. Werner gets it to Bruno Fernandez. Fernandez. Oh, chops it. But it's intercepted again. Telemans gets it to Greenwood. Greenwood, can he get back to Telemans? No, he gets it to Bruno Fernandez. Who gets it? To Werner! And it's a miss! Rashford gets it in! 1 0 to Manchester United. Beautiful play. Rashford gets the ball off the interception and just taps it in. Probably the easiest goal of this man's career. Let's have a look at it again here. Fernandez, beautiful through ball to Timo Werner. Hits off Sam Johnston. And Rashford just digs it over him. Marcus Rashford with his fourth goal of the Premier League season. Manchester United, 1-0. Oh, Yukuslu nearly made a run with that there. But Graven Birch got the ball off him but it's on to Furlong now who gets it back to Snodgrass oh beautiful interception Bruno Fernandes gets the ball here Greenwood finds Werner can Werner find Rashford Rashford's on a run here Rashford oh he nearly did a Ryan Giggs Rashford so composed there but just too much power Obviously Rashford, the man who just scored a goal, trying to go for another. Looks like Darnell Furlong is coming off for Lee Peltier. Just give me a sec while my uh, Pepsi goes. 
Here we go. Jab Sam Johnston with the goal kick. Fires it up. Oh. There we go. Oh, inception, but straight back to the midfield. Oh. Bednarek with the ball here. Oh, Rashford gets padded. Nearly intercepts it. Grayford Birch gets the ball to to Timo Werner. Can he get Rashford in? Is Rashford through? He's through. He just has one man to get past, and that's the goalkeeper, Rashford. Beautiful save by Sam Johnston. Looks like a corner kick will be in order here. And it is. Bruno Fernandes going to take it. Marcus Rashford with the ball now. What can Rashford do from here? Anyone to pass it to? No. Oh, he found Yoti Elements who could get it to Werner. Can Werner shoot? Can Werner score? Nothing comes of it. Werner just with the tightest angle possible could not do anything. I don't blame him. He had a good attempt. He had to just turn himself around for a shot as well. Oh, Raven Birch gets it out. Nothing comes of it there. Maitland Niles gets it to Manchel. Looks like they're going to be going down the right side. Nope, Graven Birch gets it to Rashford. These two have been playing some good link up play this entire game. Rashford really, really in the goals here today. Werner, can he get it in? Timo Werner shoots and ball game. Timo Werner's 10th goal of the season. Carl Compose and puts it past the keeper. See here. Graven Birch gets it to Werner. Werner gets past two defenders and gets it in. The right hand side. As you see there, 10th goal for Timo Werner. Manchester United, 2 0. Oh, Liverpool gets it to John O'Shea here. Oh, Maitland Niles gets it to Ryan Liverpool. Mason Greenwood gets it past. Bruno Fernandes has a chance here. Can he get it to Timo Werner? Werner, is he on? Looks like he is. Gets it past the last defender. Can he get it past the keeper? Oh, off the crossbar! And Sam Johnston saves it. Tries to go for a dink and it hits the crossbar. Rashford to Graven Birch. Graven Birch back. Luke Shaw. Is he on? No. Graven Birch gets it over. Knocks Snodgrass off the floor a little bit there. Bednarek gets it to Livermore. Can he get it through to Waldo? Milan's Grenar is on Waldo here and he intercepts it for the corner. The West Brom's fans lighting up the stadium right now. Bednarak is being taken off here. Sam Allardyce using all of his muscle here. Trying to get it past Bruno Fernandes. Gets it up to Ruben Diash. He sees Timo Werner on the run here. Werner gets it past his defender. But nothing comes of it. Bruno Fernandes gets it to Aaron wan -Bissaka. Oh, looks like he's going to go out for a throw-in. And it does. West Brom are taking off Waldo here. For Carl and Grant. Oh, Greenwood gets the ball to Werner. Can Werner do anything with it? Nope, John O'Shea takes the ball. Oh, Chelmers to Graven Birch. Werner. Werner misses! Timo Werner, poor play there. We'll bring it on Alex Tellers for the last couple of minutes. Can anything come of this last four minutes here? Maybe even more, depending on extra time. Fernandez. Oh, tell him. Alex Tellers tries to get over to Rashford. Gets it to Fernandez. Fernandez. Oh, you bastard. 
Oh, Rashford to Fernandez to Werner. Werner, can he get to Tillemans? No. Oh, Werner to Greenwood. What could happen here? Werner, he's open. Werner, and it's a goal. Exactly on the dot, the 90th minute. Timo Werner off the post in. Nice play there with Mason Greenwood and Yuri Tillemans there. To that saw Werner had no man on him, so he went for it. Werner off the crossbar and in. Beautiful goal. The 11th goal in the Prem. Manchester United 3 0. With, I think it's four minutes out of time. Can they get another goal in here? Maybe. No. Oh. Tellers gets it to Rashford. Rashford to Werner. What can Werner do here? Finds Tellers. No. Looks like that was the last attack at game. And it is. Manchester United win 3 0. Sam Allardyce tried everything there today, but nothing came of it. Another three points for the Red Devils today. Brilliant football. Sorry about that. That team really outperformed today. Really, really strong performance. The United fans look really happy with that. Werner with two goals as well today. Rashford with the one. And that opened up the floodgates for the Manchester United attack to strike. Obviously they're not being on full form today. But we'll take it not at last team of Werner with man at match. But we dominated that. Let's get into the interview. Here we are after game. 3-0 to Manchester United after that strong performance. Yeah, could have asked more from Werner today. Uh, it's just a strong, committed performance that was against a really good team. Are you confident you can avoid defeat again? To be honest, I'm not obsessed with the run. It'll always end. But the points that we need to earn now with our good momentum are the ones that need count. Lymphatic move, of course. But what can you take away from it? Concentration is so important that defensively we didn't have to do much. Attackingly we just put on performance. Thank you. But <clears throat> it looks like we will be playing our first at I don't think we should play this international game. I don't think we should. Oh. <clears throat> it looks like we've got an offer for Marcus, well, Anthony Martial. Kagwa Sayunku, who could be our backup centre back, and 2 million. Let's go to negotiations with Leicester City. So here we are, about to sit down with Brendan Rodgers to discuss the deal. So he wants to offer us two million and Soyunku. Uh, I I will take Soyunku, but I want five and a half mil, if I'm being honest. Sorry, but all right. How about four and a half? Alright, 4 million is the lowest I'm going to go. It's just an extra couple of mil, for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. Fucking petty, 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 petty. Alright, let's just get forward to the next game, shall we? Yeah, I'm just going to advance to it because I can't be bothered right now. That's really annoying me. And it looks like our next game will be against uh, Tottenham. Then we have 
Champions League, then Arsenal, City, Leicester, World Cup qualifiers. These are important, but I don't want to play him. Uh, he's not going. Henderson will be going to Dortmund. Good, good, good. I want that to happen. Alright, so, skip that. Simulate the uh, training. Alright, so if this is the team I want to put into the game, I might do a couple swaps. Uh, let's play Mason Mount for the first one, and also John Stones instead of Joe Gomez. And we'll play Raheem Sully instead of Rashford for the Russia game. This team has potential to be very strong, it's just nothing has come of it so far. Uh, let's let's sort this out shall we. We will be playing with this kit I guess. They'll be playing with the red kit. I don't know, I just don't like the England white kit that much. It just feels weird. Alright. Uh, let's just do a quick sim, because I feel like we can win this. 2-0, nice. Henderson and Mason Mount, good, good job. And we dominated that game. Alright, so. Next up we've got Bulgaria, but I don't think we should play that one either. What the? What? <laughs> Why do they have neon hair? What the hell is going on? What's going on here? What is this? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Okay. Anyways, uh, let's get let's skim. Well, let's sim the Bulgaria game. Uh, we've got a Sergio Romero transfer offer of five million pounds. Accept. He has nine months left on his contract, so we'll see what happens. Alright. Uh, obviously, top scorer is Harry Kane. <laughs> yeah, why is, why is that happened then? Alright. Uh, yeah, we'll just play with that squad again. I'm not going to do the... Ah... Uh, uh, I'm not going to do the tactic of Gareth Southgate and just go full defensive. I want this team to be attacking, attacking, attacking. Because that's what they can do. Alright, Luke Shaw positions change to centre back. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I'm loaning it. Well, they're going to load as a centre back, so. Anyways. Let's see if we can actually put some people into the uh nice. Okay. Uh no. Uh let's get rid of Daddy Ings. Alright then search. Alright, let's see. Jack Grealish should be the team. But Kyo Saka should not be the team. We need Jesse Lingard, I think. Or Ben Chilwell. It's difficult. Ashley Young, James Milner, Mason Greenwood. Uh. I think Jess Lingard, yeah. Uh, we don't need Michael Keane, so we can get rid of him for... Ben Chilwell. We don't need Jordan Pickford, so we can get rid of him for... Let's have a look, actually. Uh, 
Ollie Watkins, Harry Winks, Tyrone Mings, Bamford, Dunk, Barkley, Chamberlain, Westwood, uh, Hunter Doy, Izzy, Tamori, Konsa. It's difficult to think who to put in. Let's have a look here, shall we? Uh, Greenwood won't play, so I'm going to put in Calvin Phillips. Yeah. All right, so we now got Jack Grealish and all that in. So let's make the full team now. Uh, Grealish there, Rashford there. I really don't like Henderson's style of play, so him there. Uh, you are now the second option, uh, Cam, and then Phil Foden. Uh, Aaron Basaka instead of Arnold. Yeah. Ben Chilwell can go instead of Gomez, and then him and Shaw can flip flop. Yeah, I think that's the squad. Right. Anyways, we need to move on to Tottenham Hotspurs, which we'll get to right now. Of course, uh, we're England squad. I'm not going to choose my United players for the non-important matches, because... What's the point? Especially have a team like Spurs coming up. We need to play this match, so... Sergio Romero can just go to another club. That's... Fine by me. I've got plenty of options. So, let's do this, shall we? Regulion, Kipembe, Lenglet, Doherty, Bale, Sissoko, Hushberg, Son, Indombele, Kane, Lloris. It's going to be a tough game, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get right in. Actually, instead of Herbie Lazano, we're playing base of green with this. No, wait, actually. Is there a team on third run who play base in Greenwood? We'll see how that goes, but let's get into the game. So here we go then. Uh, boys are warming up. Obviously our front, like our strike force, uh, would be Werner, but today we're going to play Greenwood. Uh, Fernandez, Rashford, Herbie Lozano is strong. The right wing, we will improve in January. But Hervey Lozano is doing good. He's doing okay right now. So, Old Trafford, uh, obviously, right now isn't the greatest stadium in the world because uh, the Glazers have pretty much neglected the stadium. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get right into the matchup. Obviously, we need to watch out for Man Harry Kane and Son. Them two on the left side are going to be really lethal. So, without further ado. Oh, that's how you start with two people playing. Anyways, we're underway. And already a terrible start. Obviously, Greenwood playing at striker in a big game like this is going to be a lot of pressure, but I can trust Greenwood to perform as he has done many a times. Oh, two Tielemans. Tielemans, can you get anything? No. Bissaka gets it off Son. Can Son do anything? Son gets it out and it's a throwing for United. Good tactics there. Herve Lozano gets it back to Bissaka. Can Bissaka do anything here? Gets it to Bruno Fernandes who gets it to Greenwood. Greenwood. Tackled by Kimpembe and it's a free kick. You see probably table there. Top three separated by two points. And it looks like it's going to be a yellow card is it? No, nope, just a warning. Alright, Bruno Fernandes taking the free kick. Nope, that was that was actually my fault. I'll try to get some side spin on it and I got it the wrong way. Oh, Tellez tries to get off Bale, but Bale did a really good job. 
Langlet has the ball here. Obviously, he used to play for Barcelona, now he's at Tottenham. Looks like Spurs finally uses their money to good use. Oh, and Dombele tries to get through, but nothing comes of it. Ruben Dias gets it to Bruno Fernandes. Mason Greenwood, get him. Him and Kim Pembe are going to have a really big t tussle. Oh, Tellez gets it to Bruno Fernandes, to Greenwood. Greenwood, he's through. Mason Greenwood! Yes! Mason Greenwood performing. On a big, big stage tonight. Gets past his defender, get past another defender, and just pops it in the goal. Loris couldn't do anything there. Greenwood scores his second goal in Premier League. Another important, vital goal by the young Englishman. Manchester United, 1-0. Oh. Euro Tillemans gets it to Mason Greenwood who gets it Bruno Fernandes can you see Herbie Lazar no poor pass by Fernandes Hugo Lloris just whacks it out for a throw in oh Euro Tillemans with a poor touch there Son intercepts and gets straight to Reglion oh it looks like Son is already on the run again Harry Kane is still in the midfield. And that was just a poor move by... Poor movement there. Kane did not read that ball at all. Didn't even help Son get up front. Oh, Greenwood gets past his defender. But, free kick. Another one. Hugh Lloris obstructing the wall here. Harry Kane in the wall. Oh, it looks like, is it going to be on the post? No, Lloris saves it and it's a corner. There we go. Ruben Dias gets the ball, but Lloris saves it. What's Lloris going to do here? Greenwood just put it after him. Tellers hits the ball to Bruno Fernandes who gets it to Greenwood. Can Greenwood get it to Fernandes? No. Sissoko has the ball now. He's going to probably try and play it to Kane. Not Kane, Bale. And he does. Bale chips it over to Doherty. And Doherty gets it to Bale. The number nine now. Nothing happens there. Bale running back after the ball there. After that mistake. Oh, Rashford digs it over the player. Fernandez tries to chop it, never going well. Oh, Ruben Dias chips over to Hyung Min Son, but nothing comes of it. Bruno Fernandez here to Greenwood, Greenwood to Fernandez, Fernandez straight to Greenwood, Greenwood's on. Legler is the only thing in his way, and a beautiful block there. But still in the danger zone, and they're now out of it here. Hyunbin Son, he's in the box here, Kane's right there, and a beautiful block by David De Gea to get it out, Hermie Lozano now the ball, gets it to Bruno Fernandes, Fernandes gets it over to Rashford, Rashford finds Mason Greenwood, but Greenwood could not turn round in time, and Dombele, oh advantage play to Spurs and they keep it, oh and it's out for a throw in, Donny Van der Beek. Van der Beek gets it over to Wan Masaka, who hits it off when Don Bele. Kane has the ball now. Probably the only threat to Timo Werner in the season. Oh, and Don Bele tries to get it off. And beautiful there. Mason Greenwood. Oh, and Don Bele. What's he going to do here? Try to skate through to his teammate. Nothing comes of it. Will Rashford get through on the ball? Is Rashford through? No, Doherty gets the ball. 
Oh, here we go now. Two minutes added time for the first half. It's been an equal game so far, but Mason Greenwood capitalised on his opportunity and scored. It was like final run at game here of the first half. And it's half time. Kane not making much of the advance there. But Manchester United are up 1-0. And I'm going to be honest, I think Greenwood's going to come off here. I don't, want to, I don't want to fully exhaust him here. So, Timo Werner's come on and... Graven Birch for Van der Beek and finally... Milan Squidda is going to come off for Luke Shaw. Obviously Luke Shaw and Dean Henderson will be going to Dortmund on loan in January. So that's going to be a big one. But second half is underway. Man United are still leading 1-0. And oh, Rashford deflects the ball and it's a throw in. Oh, throws it off to Clement Langlet. Moves to Sissoko. Gareth Bale on the ball. Gets it to Doherty. Back to Sissoko. Don Bella plays some good football here. Looks like Ryan Mason got something through to their heads in the first half. In the dressing room. Raven Birch gets it to Bruno Fernandes. Chairman sees Herbie Lozano on the run. Will he get it? He does. Two. No, nothing comes out of it. Werner didn't get the ball down in time, so the defence got hold of it. Doherty on his own here. Can Graven Birch close him down? And he does, but has not got the ball off him. Musa Sissoko. Oh, Alex Tellez moves out of the way. Oh, and Sissoko gets it out. Graven Birch. Beautiful deflection. Obviously, Bill had a chance there, but. Ruben Dias gets the ball and it's deflected out. Call a kick though. Anything could change here. And it's Harry Kane on the ball but it's on the crossbar. Ruben Dias tries to get over to Werner but nothing comes of it. Lo Celso has come on for in Dombele. Oh, Lo Celso on the side but Bissaka with the deflection. Man United really not having some good uh, possession here, but that's where United play best on the counter attack. It looks like Herman Zano gets it to Werner. Can Werner get it in? Werner! 2 0. Timo Werner scores his 12th goal of the Premier League season. Brilliant counter attack there. And it results in a goal in the top left corner. Timo Werner gets it. Manchester United 2 0. Oh, Werner already intercepts it. Chelman sees Herbie Lozano's run. Gets it to Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes going to get it over to Werner. Werner with a touch. And Lloris deflects it. It's out for a throw in. Very dangerous one at that. Gets straight to Bruno Fernandes who gives it all. Gets it away to Son. Son. Throwing for Spurs now. Oh. Hojberg gets it to Son. Son gets it to Reguilon. Kane in the centre. Finds La Celso. La Celso gets it over to Hyunbin Son. Oh, Son gets it back to Reguilon. Nothing coming over here. Son, can he get to box? No, Luke Shaw gets the ball out of the plate, but shoddy pass there. Spurs next game against Liverpool. Let's see if they can knock them off next game. And it's a free kick. Looks like Kane's on the uh, 
free kick, but Bale takes it and it just misses. Shaw to Alan Wan-Bissaka. To Green, what to? Oh, Bruno Fernandes gets it to Werner. Can Werner do anything? Back to Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes sees Rashford. Can Rashford do anything here? Back to Fernandes, but the pass was too powerful. It looks like it's back to the Tottenham players here. Oh, Neville Lozano just left that space open. That's poor position in there. Oh, Alex Tellers trips up Bell there. But Bell's still going. Gareth Bell, what can he do here? Gets it to Kane. Kane! Oh, tackled by Diaz, but nothing calls for it there. Oh. Oh, Graver Birch gets it to Rashford. Can Rashford do anything here? Gets it to Tellez. Tellez chips it over to Graver Birch. What's Graver Birch going to do here? He's on the run, but he can't get anything with it. Werner in the box. What's he going to do? Two. Graver Birch, but too many passes. And the play has broken down. Oh, looks like he's coming back alive here, though. Werner gets it to Herman Lozano. That's a tackle. I call for free kick there, for being honest, and it's a free kick. 84th minute. Red Leon called. Bruno Fernandez on the free kick here. Oh, will it go in? Oh, Lorries catches it. Lloris just whacks it upfield to Kane, who gets it back to Heusberg. Just gets it straight to Tellers' is noggin. Ruben Dias gets it to Rashford. Rashford, can he go on the run here? Doherty is right there, though. Tellers gets it to Werner. What can Werner do here? Nothing. Lo Celso on the ball now gets it to Musasi Soko. Oh, Lucas Mora is on the run as well. Nothing going to come of that, though. Oh, Shaw gets it up to Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes to Hervé Lozano. Oh, just runs straight into Regleon. What could happen here? Regleon, there's left back. He's just all the way up here. Oh, and a shot by Lacelso, but goes wide. And that is the end of the game. Manchester United beat Tottenham Hotspurs. Two goals to nil. Brilliant performance by both the strikers that are on the field today. Werner gets a goal to extend his lead as the top goal scorer. So does Greenwood. Gets a goal. But it was a great performance. Let's just get to the uh, post-match press conference. So here we are after the match here. Uh, obviously, a remarkable run by us. We have not lost a game yet. And I'll say what I said last time to the, the other interviewer. I don't care about this. This is just us being on form right now. We're confident because every lad was willing to contribute and just commit to everything that we got. And just, I can't fault the players or anything they did today. I know we can always call goals. We have one of the best front four, we have one of the best attacking forces in Prem, and today that really showed. Thank you very much. Sergio Romero has been sold, finally. <coughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be the end of today's episode. Um, Jam-packed, to be honest with you. Um, we are now the New England manager. Um, <coughs> we have still on our undefeated streak. We are currently, I have no idea where, but we are currently first in the uh, UEFA Champions League. 
let's have a look out to see where we are. Where's our league? Don't show it there, I guess. Let's have a look in the... Uh, But strong performance today by the lads, I can't fault them. Let's have a look at the uh, bar, not the Barclays Premier League, but that's what I'm used to calling it now. And it looks like we're still a second behind Liverpool. Liverpool looks like looks like they won their last game against West Bromwich Albion, but next up, Liverpool have got Tottenham Hotspurs while we have Arsenal. And then Liverpool have Arsenal, and we have Leicester. And it looks like I think Liverpool will have Leicester next. Yep. We'll have Villa. And then Liverpool will probably have Villa. Nope. West Ham. Then we have Fulham in November. In December we have Wolves. Chelsea. Southampton. Manchester City. Sheffield United. Arsenal again. And Tottenham Hotspurs. I don't know when we're facing Liverpool, but when we do, that'll be the game of the season. Oh, January 20th. So keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, when we get to that. But thank you so much for watching. The next episode, we'll do a Champions League game and play against Arsenal. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and peace.